Hey guys, welcome to Contently Living. It's Carlessa here and I want to thank you guys for joining me in this messy house cleanup video. Today the house is pretty bad because I've been cleaning my office slash homeschool room and it took about three days and the rest of the house just kind of fell a little bit behind. But if you guys have not seen that video of the office cleanup, you're going to want to head over to my channel and watch that one because it is a massive transformation that you don't want to miss. But in today's video, I'm going to be taking the whole day to get the house back in order and the way that it needs to be. So it's that time again, my bedding needs to be washed. So I'm just gonna strip everything off and throw it in the washer. And I am gonna wash my duvet this time um, because it was looking a little bit dirty, but I love to wash my bedding. I mean, it's nothing like the feeling of getting into a clean bed with the linens fresh and it smells nice. It's just nothing like it. So I'm gonna pop that in the wash and keep going. So lately I've been thinking a lot about goals and goal setting and exactly how I want to tackle the things that I want to do in my life and I basically came up with six tips or steps whatever you want to call it as to how I do it and the first one I do is determining exactly what I want and because I realize if I don't really know what I want I'm not going to stick with it and then the second thing that I do is telling myself that I can do it you know really putting in my mind that I can get it done. It might be difficult, but I can do it. The third thing that I do is imagining the end result. So I see what it is that I want and I imagine what my life is gonna be like when I reach that goal. And that kind of helps motivate me to keep going. And number four, I make a plan. I have really, really learned to do this, to sit down and write down exactly what it is, what I want to do and kind of make like a little time measurement, like. Okay, it might take me three months, four months, a year, however long, but I make a time measurement, you know, just kind of estimating of how long it might take me to do it. So I make a plan. And number five, I write down my goal and I tell others about it. So I'll write it down so that I'm looking at it frequently. And I've heard that when you write things down, it makes it a little bit more, um, I guess, real to you and it keeps you going to do what it is that you wrote down and also telling others about it so that you are a little bit more accountable. And the last thing that I do is that I try not to beat myself up if I get off track because life happens. I mean, there's an emergency, you know, whether it be financial emergency or just things get in the way, time gets in the way and you can't do it. So I have to learn not to be so hard on myself when those things happen. And if I get distracted, I pick right back up where I left off. I don't stop, I keep going. So I'm gonna recap those six things that I do. I try and determine exactly what it is that I want. I tell myself that I can do it. I imagine the end result. I write down my goal or I tell others about it. I make a plan and I don't beat myself up about it. So this is what I've been doing um, to try and accomplish my goals. Um, my husband and I, we are really wanting to get out of debt, you know, pay off everything and just really have that financial freedom. So that is one of my biggest goals. I mean, I have other little ones, but that's one of our biggest ones that we have together. But share down below, what are some of the goals that you guys have? Some of the things that you've been able to accomplish? Let's talk down below in the comments so that we can learn from each other. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. But yes, this is the steps that I take and it has really, really helped in the past.
So the bedding is finally done, everything is all dry, and I can put my bed back together, but the whole room just smells like fresh linen. It is so satisfying to make a clean bed. Guys, I need your help here. I'm kind of bored with the pillows that are on my bed, but um, let me know down in the comments below what other colors or shapes you guys think that maybe I should go with. I've been looking and I just haven't found anything that I really like. And I just feel like this is very basic. I mean, it looks nice, but I wanna add a little bit more color to it, but let me know down below what you guys think. So here I'm just cleaning the tub. It actually wasn't really that dirty. I'm just wiping it down, but we are actually going to redo our shower because there is a little bit of water damage behind one of the walls and it just needs to be redone. So that is an upcoming video. I'm not sure when. We do have to finish the addition first, but that is coming up in one of my videos as well. So this is our master bathroom, mine and my husband's, and as you can see, we just have one vanity. It's just one sink, and really the kids use this bathroom even more than theirs. They love our bathroom more for whatever reason. But um, because of that, I really have to get creative with maximizing the most space as I can. And I'll probably do another video of that coming up soon because it is kind of messy in the drawers and underneath the sink. So I'm gonna start researching to see what all I need to do to make sure that we are getting the most out of the space that we have in our bathroom. So now we are on to the kids' room, which was a hot mess from front to back. And I just did not have the energy to have them come in there and tell them what to do and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Plus it was getting late and they needed to get in the bed. So, so I just went ahead and cleaned it so that we could get done quick and everybody can get ready for bed. Another reason I like to clean their room when I'm in there by myself is so that I can go through things that I know that they don't use, that they don't play with, little papers and stuff, and just throw it away because they will keep everything. Is anybody else's kids like that? Are they just natural hoarders? I mean, because I feel like I have to explain why this is trash, why that is trash, why we can't keep every single thing. So I like being in there by myself because I can throw things away and they don't even notice when it's gone. I mean, I could literally go through all of their toys and throw away a lot of stuff and they won't even notice. If they're not looking right at me while I'm doing it, then they won't even notice. So yeah, I love just cleaning their room by myself sometimes. And they are literally getting in the bed like in the next 10 minutes. So I wasn't really going to worry about making their beds all perfectly. Just getting everything out that needed to be out of there. So now their room is all finished and they won't wake up to a messy room and they can head to bed 
and look at how dreamy this looks I love it it's so pretty at night so the next day I get up and start hitting it hard because I have some things that I need to do that day and the living room was still a disaster so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the living room so I can get this area nice and cleaned up and we can finish doing what we need to do for the rest of the day This day was very bright and sunny and it just felt very easy to be motivated to do everything that I needed to do to get everything done. And now that I'm kind of getting towards the end to where my room is clean, the kids room is clean, the living room, obviously I cleaned the office before. So the whole house is just getting back to the way that it needs to be. And I can actually kind of have some relief mentally because you know how when your house is not clean, and things are everywhere, you just cannot focus. I cannot focus very well. And it puts me in a bad mood much easier. I'm just very irritable. But now I am getting to the point where everything is back where it needs to be and I can just mentally rest. So these are the last few little things that I needed to get out of the way and get out of the hallway because when I was cleaning the office, you know, it was late that night when I finished. So I had some things that needed to go in the trash and that needed to go to Goodwill or that I just needed to um, put in a different part of the house. So that's what I'm doing now, just getting everything where it needs to go in its place so that the hallway can be an actual hallway again and not just a closet that we have to walk through. So now on to the kids' bathroom. And like I said, they use our bathroom more. So this bathroom really doesn't get that dirty. I obviously like to keep it clean because this is where um, guests come when, they, when we have visitors. This is the bathroom that they use. So obviously it does need to be clean, but it's pretty easy just to get it done. The tub was pretty clean and it's a small bathroom. So that is the one good thing about things being small is that it doesn't take long to clean. So there's always pros and cons to everything. Well guys, I just about wraps it up for this video. As you can see, I got a lot done. My whole house is clean now from the front to the back, both of the bathrooms, the guest room, our room, the kids room, everything is done and I am so glad. I mean, it just feels amazing to come home to a clean house. I did have some errands to run that day and it was nice for the house to be clean when we got back. But I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you along for my new projects, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.